Okay, we're going to do that editing in context thing. So I need to make supports for the circuit board inside my shell. Uh, the only problem is I don't have the circuit board in my part studio here. It's in a separate part studio here, right, in the case part studio. So what's going on? Well, in our assembly, I can put those parts. See, so I put the circuit board and the back of the shell into an assembly. And I use the view uh, control over here to turn it translucent. And I made sure that everything was aligned up right where I wanted it to be. OK, I'm going to use the button is going to be on the backpack. So everything's lined up kind of where I need it to be. Now what I'm going to do is now that I position those two in the assembly uh, tool, you know, in the assembly part, I can right click this part and I can say edit in context. And now notice it brings me back to my main dude part studio, but it puts that PCB there and it and it um I'm gonna turn off this perspective there. So it puts the P it leaves the PCB there. So I can then reference that, those details in my in my sketch here, in my parts. So let's turn off the front of him. And we're gonna make a new sketch. And I'm gonna use these top surface of my my piece as the plane and I'm gonna hit sketch and I'm gonna to normal to it and the main thing I need is I need to create posts that the circuit board can align with so I'm gonna use the use tool right here project this circle this this and this so now I have created those circles in my sketch. And if I slide the slider here, it can slowly kind of fade the extra parts out. And you can see now I have those circles in a sketch, which I can then use. I can extrude them down into my part, right? I can not extrude them blindly by an inch. I can extrude them up to next. So they're going to stop when they hit something, the next thing they hit. So they're hitting this inner surface. OK, so now I've got posts that are in the exact right position, starting on that surface, and they're stopping right there. And I'm adding them to my existing part. That's pretty awesome. OK, so when they're, they're in the perfect position. So that is a great way to, to do that, edit in context. Um, but what I actually want to do is I want to I want to make them a little bit um, a little bit bigger than the whole of the circuit board. So that way the circuit board sits on top of them. So I'm going to I'm going to select them and let's turn them into construction lines. So I can just use them as a reference. So there they are. They're selected. I'm going to hit this button here, which turns them into construction lines. Right? You see they're dotted now. And I'm going to make slightly larger circles using the offset tool here. So I'm going to not do not do a quarter inch offset. That's way too much. I'm going to, I'm going to click out here, offset. And we're going to go. Uh, 0.04 we'll say so click 0.04 I don't I don't want this to be a construction line I want this to be an actual line so select it actual line come on I'm gonna select this it's gonna be a real line all right so we're gonna offset no we're gonna offset this one okay 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 on shape we're gonna offset this one Click out here, 0.04, enter. We're going to offset this one. Click out here, 0.04, enter. Offset this one. Click out here, 0 .04, 0 0.04, enter. Now I've got 
posts that are in the perfect position, but they're a little fatter, then we're going to do the extrude. Flip direction up to next. All right, now I've got those nice posts that are just in the right position. Now the circuit board's going to sit on top of those, but we need to make sure that we um, have little pins coming through to actually sit the circuit board on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that surface again. We're going to do another sketch, and we're going to make um, these two circles. We're going to use the inner diameter, and we're going to use them again as part of our sketch. Okay, we don't need all four to locate the part. We're just going to use two of them, and we're going to bring those up. And they just need to be as thick as the circuit board. So the circuit board is 1.6 millimeters. Let's do um, 1.4 mm, just enough to get into the circuit board and add a little, little pins there. So now our circuit board will lock right into those. It's sitting right flush with the top surface, and and the they're mounted right in the perfect spot. So that is pretty awesome way to work. You can see here now when the assembly has been updated, there's little pegs that go inside those holes. These holes don't have the pegs, but it's okay. So the circuit board is held down. The next thing I would do is in context. I would do another one where I would cut the hole for the button directly in line with the switch, um, with the little, the little switch pin, right, with that part. And I would also put the front on and mate the front where it needs to be. And then I would put some type of support sticking out of the front to hold the circuit board in position up against those pegs. Okay, hold them up. All right, so pretty cool way of working in an assembly. And once again, you right click the part and you edit in context. Okay, if I want to add another piece, I would create a new context. All right, hope that helped you all. Good luck. Ask me for help. So long.